Welcome to Star Citizen, so Mirai Fury. I was testing this ship during the weekend and I was pleasantly surprised. It's really agile, fast, snuff fighter with a decent amount of firepower to take on other light fighters. And it's a pretty small ship, so I can carry it with me in most medium sized vehicles, ships that have medium sized bays or cargo decks. It does not fit everywhere like I tried with my Vulture, but it does fit, uh, two can actually even fit into the MISC. Trey Cutlass Black can carry two. I fitted one into the Nomad. I believe Corsair could carry two, or perhaps if fitted well, even more. And I'm pretty sure you could take a C2 and fill it up with a dozen or so. To an extent, MISC Mirai Fury or the Mirai Fury has been advertised as a snuff fighter for a pocket carrier. So what does that mean? It means it's an excellent ship to be used with bigger ships that can serve as a mother ship for these small snuff fighters. We do have other snuff fighters, but I do believe their length exceeds the Mirai Fury. So in a way, the space the Fury takes up is smallest compared to all of the other snuffs. Not to say that there aren't other small fighters, but I don't believe there's any as bare damn as this one. The ship is kept in two different states, the standard and the combat mode, where the weapons get armed and you can actually use them. While holding down ALT and pressing K, it should swap between these modes when you're flying Mirai Fury. Its firepower is quite decent, it's on bar with other light fighters, and even with the good light fighters like the Gladius or Arrow, having 4 size 2 laser repeaters and 4 size 2 rockets. There's also the other variant, the Mirai Fury MX, which feels more like a rocket platform or a rocket turret, as the rockets are only weapons in your arsenal and there is truly a stupid amount of them. I believe the stock setup is 16, having 8 uh, size 1s and 8 size 2s. The little beast that is filled with rockets surrounded by them. I do think that the Mirai Fury stock variant is better as you do get firepower and since it is a very maneuverable agile ship, it is faster than many of the other light fighters, so in a way I guess you can use the MX variant to keep yourself out of harm's way or the proper distance to fire those rockets, but you indeed are limited to firing those rockets and that is a downside in my book. It is an excellent ship and I truly truly like it. Not sure if it's for everybody, but it definitely is a cool, small, nifty snob. And if you have some friends you want to play along and you can get a decent the size, the mothership so to say, I guess you can have some fun with the, your setup and with your friends. I think Hercules C to M2 or A2 might be a bit much for a mothership, but I do think storing these ships in something that is decently sized like Corsair can be a fun start to the ship combat you can do with your friends. This ship can have some other excellent variants in the future, perhaps a stealth variant or a racing variant as it's very quick to respond to your actions. It flies like a butterfly and stings like a bee. It's probably going to be really really interesting to see what players can come up with a mothership, a proper crew and a heck of a lot of snobs. And I don't think it even has a downside of having one shield, which I usually do when I'm comparing light fighters, because this is such a small target, it's such an agile target and it can swap the movement direction on a dime. I think the acceleration is the key here how it can swap and accelerate and boost itself in different direction and just catch up with targets, uh, deal with targets, uh, move positions and of course it's hard to hit. Anyway, I hope you got to try this little beast and thanks for watching.